Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Bonjour, privet, hola, ciao to my foreign friends. Today, um, we're going to be talking about this uh, knife right here. It's a uh, Bowie knife, an old style Bowie knife. And um, this knife was um, popularized by Tai Chi, a Cherokee Indian chief. And um, if you'd like to hear more about this in the upcoming video, go ahead and watch the video. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so I use this in the uh, backdrop on uh, one of my videos and I had a, a subscriber want to see more of it. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, show this knife. And so um, you can see that this knife has a, um, a uh, upswept design to it. It's pretty polished. That's not my polish. It's just the polish it came with. So the blade on this knife is eight and a half inches or uh, 21.5 centimeters. And the thickness on it is three sixteenths or uh, four millimeters. It has a uh, wood coffin handle and the knife is a uh, full tang. So originally... Um, this is nickel silver, but originally this knife, I think, came with genuine uh, silver hardware on it. And so the story on this knife is, um, if uh, I'm showing you the pictures now, you can go on the internet and look up uh, Tai Chi. And um, he has this knife prominently displayed in his sash around his waist. That's how he used to carry the knife in his sash. And this style of Bowie knife with this upswept uh, uh, geometry was popular with Native Americans in the early 1800s. And matter of fact, sometimes they were much more drastically and aggressively brought up um, the upsweep on the knives. They preferred that kind of slashing blade um, to, to the uh, common style Bowie knives that we used. And um, this knife is a uh, reenactment knife and sold it. It's sold by um, Crazy Crow uh, for reenactors, uh, mountain men reenactors, Civil War reenactors, that type of thing. So you can use this knife. It's a usable knife. I wouldn't say it's uh, finely built um, by any means, but it is typical. The reason I bought it, it is typical of this style knife that you would find in the early 1800s. You have a coffin handle on it. The um, the handles were often pinned with silver and a silver um, eschewan there on both sides and then a butt plate uh, which would, would have been maybe copper, brass, or silver on there. You can see it has a nice uh, collar on it here. Pretty cool knife. Um, it fits really well in your hand. This would be a pretty good fighting knife. You notice there's no hilt on it, but um, that was pretty common. There were a lot of uh, uh, knives that did not have hilts on them. A, a lot of the knives that you see that that Native Americans carried did not have hilts on them, and um, a lot of Bowie knives didn't either. So um, uh, when you're talking about Bowie knives, uh, all, all kinds of different designs are really indicative of a Bowie. And Bowies really were just big bladed knives. There's all kinds of different styles. It depends on the region that you were at on. Let's see if I can get you a nice swedge here. Okay. Swedge. This was probably double bladed. The wedge was probably uh, sharp uh, when this uh, knife was originally used by Tai Chi. Um, so um, this knife would be circa 1830s. 
Um, tai Chi was active from 1830 all the way up until the 1840s. And um, this knife originally was designed, this knife design was a Gravely and Weeks from Sheffield, uh, England, who made this uh, knife design. And um, Tai Chi's knife is uh, on display in a museum. Uh, we have Tai Chi's original knife, and this knife was produced off of that, off that design. So pretty cool. Um, I like this knife. I really got it because I, I'm building a collection of Bowie knives and um, of all kinds of different styles. And uh, that's why I got this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative. Uh, this knife is from in in India. Yeah, India. Uh, I've got a couple knives from India. They're okay. You know, they're not the uh, finest produced knives. But um, they do a pretty good job with the steel and putting them together. Uh, I've never had one fall apart on me. So uh, if you wanted to pick this knife up, they're in the $50 range. It may be a little bit more now, but, you know, um, Crazy Horse has a lot of old style designs like this. So, I mean, if you can't afford $10,000 to go out and buy an original Bowie, it's kind of cool to have these, um, you know, in your collection. Just to give you that feel of what it would be like to uh, have a Bowie like this. And you can use it. So, hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, really appreciate you guys for watching and supporting the channel. And uh, remember, you'll know the truth, and the truth will set you free.